Hello and welcome to ALW Collectibles. Today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers 1988 Pretender Landmine. And this figure is actually very near and dear to my heart. This was the very first Pretender I ever owned. And I've had this entire time. It's a little beat up because of his age. But still, very close to my heart. You know, I think it's a pretty cool looking one as well. He is an Autobot. Even though you can't tell from the outer shell. But we'll get into all his bios and everything. I have two different bios for him. One was cobbled together from all the information on the internet as usual. And the other one's the official bio that came with the toy with his bio card and tech specs. So let's take a look at him. First thing we're going to look at is his gun. And this is pretty cool. I like this. This is his Astro Blaster. Of course, this peg down here is for the shell to hold, and these are for the robot themselves to hold. Pretty cool. There is an inner robot. The whole gimmick of the Pretenders was that the robot would hide inside a humanoid or an animal shell to conceal themselves. Let's take a look at that. You got brown eyes and brown hair. Really cool. I like the design on this. I've always liked the way this figure looked. Full. Yeah, I can speak today. I just blanked. I'm sorry about that, people. Full disclosure, he does come with a sword. I don't have the sword anymore. So he is not 100% complete. I am missing a weapon for him. I like this. This is pretty cool the way they designed the shell. Got your legal information right there. I like how they put the knees on the back just to make it look right, and they're actually lined up like they should be. See the yellowing here? This is all due to aging on him. Really, really cool looking. And he does have other accessories, like the hat. This does come off revealing a brown head of hair. This is his helmet. Pretty basic, but very cool looking. You guys see these lighting up in the middle of the darkness. And this belt does come off. This is another accessory. And mine is broken. Again, age. It snapped years ago. And to take this off, you can just unclip it from the pegs on both sides. And this one feels like it's breaking now, too, so I'll be very careful with it. Really cool. This is textured right in here. On the back. The ends get a little rubbery, but the middle and front are kind of like a harder plastic. So pretty cool. Um, articulation with the shell. His shoulder goes all the way around, and that's it. There's nothing at the elbow. Nothing at the feet, elbow, wrists, or anything. Just that. And to get to the robot inside, we're going to have to split the shell in half. So you open the shell. And there is the robot landmine. And he fits in there very nicely. So we'll take him out. Ah, we're going to take a look at the inside of the shell. No paint, no applications. Just the molding. Pretty cool. Put that back together. Lift his arms. We're going to put his belt back on and put that back on. We just clip this back here. Clip that on. Bring his hands down. We're going to put his helmet right on top of his head. And this is landmine in his storage mode. And to get to robot mode, all you're going to do is flip his feet down. And flip his arms out. Very cool looking figure. Do a little spin look at him and then I'll get into his two bios.
So the first bio is the one I got off the internet that I was able to put together from several sources. Landmine believes life is a large Indiana Jones movie. His job as a deep space miner takes him to uncharted areas of the galaxy. This is a job that he takes with zeal and excitement, always willing to rush in with sword and gun in hand, looking for whatever mineral or rare artifact he may find. Very brash and hot-headed, but unlike most hotheads, make sure he gets the job right, done right. He very rarely ever leaves his shell if he can avoid it, and in his downtime, loves to watch all the Indiana Jones movies. That one's pretty cool. I like that one. So that was the one I was able to cobble together off the internet. And like the original Transformers, there is the original bio card. I do have them mounted in a book, so I can't take it out. Really cool. I love the photo for him on this one. And his bio from Hasbro, the official bio, reads as following. Autobot landmine. Function. Asteroid miner. The greatest treasures are found in the darkest places. A hard-working hothead, always concerned with getting the job done right. Outer shell, constructed of a highly dense, high-density cybertronic alloy, impervious to most armaments. Outside his shell, transforms into an all-terrain exploration vehicle. Mining activities, facilitated by electronic, magmatronic, Sonic, thermo, chemical, and radiation sensors armed with a laser saber and astro blaster that shoots concentrated bursts of incendiary explosives. And his bio, that was the bio, his stats, again, these are ranked zero on the bottom to 10. Strength is an eight, intelligence is an eight, speed is a six. Endurance is a seven. Rank is a six. Courage is a five. Firepower is a 10. And skill is an eight. Overall, pretty interesting. Both bios are pretty much square on. I've seen a lot of bios vary from figure to figure depending on who they are and they wildly differ. So a lot of the sites and sources have them pretty much the same. Let's take a closer look at that. You got the yellow face with the gray. I wish they'd done something a little more in the face, but maybe do the visor a little bit different or put a little up there in the, on the forehead. This is all sticker detail, and you can see it's starting to peel after all these years. The Autobot symbol's pretty much almost falling off, fallen off. Very simplistic in his design, but still cool. In my opinion, anyway. I really like the way this figure looks. And he can hold his blaster. The problem with mine is the age is his legs are so loose due to his age. And to put his blaster in his hands, you'll see he has a peg, port on each side. And there's a peg on each side of the gun. It just fits right in there. And the problem is it, it just pulls him straight down to the ground. Due to the age of mine. When I first got him in 88, he could hold that thing up without a problem. Nowadays, you pretty much have to lean him backwards to get it to hold him up. Really, really cool. And he can hold this in either hand. And you bring his hands together like that kind of a little bit. And almost angle it between the two hands. Pretty cool, very cool. Uh, next, we're gonna transform him. And transformation for this whole series was always basic and very, very simple. First, we're gonna take the hands and just bring them straight up over his head, like so. We're gonna take his head, turn that around. We're gonna take his leg, flip it up, straighten the leg, um, foot, bend the knee. And that's it. That is the all-terrain vehicle they're talking about. 
mean, you can bring these down a little bit more if you want, just for looks. I think it just looks cooler up in the air. So you're basically just taking and folding his legs over his chest and throwing his arms up. He does. Ah! He still rolls very well. And he can store his gun on him. There's a port in the back of the head. The peg right there. And even with that, he still rolls very nicely. And transforming back to robot is exceedingly simple. Flip his leg down. Straighten his leg, then his foot, flip his leg down, straighten his leg, then his foot, flip his arm back, flip his arm back, turn his head. Articulation, head of course goes all the way around, arm goes all the way around, and you can have this joint here that if you want to maneuver this around, you can. Nothing at the elbow, nothing at the wrist, nothing at the waist, forward, back, his knee does not bend backwards, it bends forward only due to transformation, and his ankle really does not tilt much, but it does a little bit. This has been 1988 Transformers Landmine Pretender Series. My final thoughts with it, like I said, this figure is near and dear to my heart. It was the very first Pretender I ever owned, and I always thought it was very cool. Very unique concept. I liked the way they looked. They were very simplistic, but back in those days, they were fun to play with. Sadly, nowadays, I don't have too many Pretenders left to review. I, Like I said, I'm still trying to rebuild a lot of my older collection, and I'm working on that. But I have other ones I want to focus on, definitely. But sure, I want to get more and the theme i'm working with recently like i said i've been trying to do more theme videos for everybody is one or more pieces right now so we just did sideways we did landmine who has two pieces the next figure for this for this whole week maybe the next two weeks it's just going to be two or more i should say instead i said one or more two or more pieces and then i'll go to another theme sorry for my little ramble there but yeah this is ALW. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Subscribe if you wish. I want to say thank you to all my channel subscribers. Comments are always welcome. ALW and Landmine, where he searches the galaxy for something new and exciting. Hope you have fun searching through this video and seeing if you like it. Have a good day.